Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Effortless Fashion. I'm your host, Corey. Today I'm going to give you a peek into my shoes closet to let you see what I'm working with. The collection isn't quite complete yet, but I'm slowly getting there. But I'll just show you what I have so far. Because you see, when you have big feet, getting shoes in your size isn't so simple. So I have to shop overseas mostly because out here they just don't really sell my size that much. And if they do, it's normally the ugliest shoes that are left in my size. So, so like I said, slowly but surely, I'll get there. Now without further ado, I present my small but humble shoe collection. Let's go. Let me apologize in advance. Some of these shoes aren't very, let's say, clean. Because some of them I haven't worn in like months or years. So I just had to dust them off to take them off. Anyways, first we're going to do the sneaker category. I'm going to show you the high tops that I currently have. The first up, first up I have this white pair of Air Jordans. I don't wear these very often for some reason. I've had these for like three, four years now. And I've only worn them a handful of times. Next up we have these Nike, I think they're Zooms. Yeah, I think they're Nike Zooms or something like that. I don't even remember. I had these for a very long time too, but really wear them. But they're here. Next up, I got these M1 black sneakers. I really wear these as well. It's a bit uncomfortable. The sole isn't very thick, so I don't really wear it very often. But I have them here. And next up, I have these DC high top skater sneakers. Yeah, I really like these. I wear them a lot. You probably see me in a few pictures with these. I have one other high top, and there is some. And one I might put the picture up here somewhere. But I play basketball in those, and those aren't exactly in very good condition right now, so I didn't bother to show them. All right, that, that does it for the high tops. Now we'll go to the low cut sneakers. And here I have some DC low cut sneakers. Don't wear these very often either. I had these for probably like five, six years, and I've only worn them like four or five times. But I have them here in the closet. This had a lot of dust on it. Next up we have the Converse Chuck Taylors Reds. Yeah, I had these for like five years or six. I think it's from 2012 I have these in. Yeah, I wear these a couple of times. You can see the wear on it. Even the colors, even the colors fading. Probably need to replace them. But Chuck Taylors, they are very durable. They last very long. Can't tell you that much. The only thing that fades is the color. Next up, another pair of Chuck Taylors, the whites. These are relatively new compared to the others. I had these for like a year or two now. Yeah, I don't want to wash too, but it's just for sure. And then we have the blacks. Now guess what? These aren't Chuck Taylors. I actually bought these in PLS. Like, like I said, you can shop cheap and still look good. So these are ear walkers, I think. A lot of people think they are Chuck Taylors, but they're not. Payless. Next up, one of my favorites, Stan Smith's Adidas. Yeah, yeah, I really like these. I had to wipe them off a bit before I showed them on camera because they were kind of dirty from the last time I wore them. I can't really care white much, to be honest, but I like clean white sneakers, anyways. And last up in my sneaker category are my slip on. Ralph Lauren Polo low cuts. You saw me wear these to the wedding the other day. Very nice and comfortable, I must say. But that's it for the sneaker category. Next up, we're doing the dress shoes, and these won't take long because it's not a lot. First up, we have the Capto Oxford. Why they're called Captos? Because they got this little lining right here. So it looks like a cap at the end of the shoe. So this makes it a cap toe. Yeah, so these are work shoes. Next, we got the double monk straps. Like I told you, these are one of the must haves you should have in your closet. Double monks, you can't go wrong. Now we're moving from browns to blacks. And we have these patent leather shoes. Cap toes again. Yeah, work shoes. And lastly, we got these black and brown wingtip patent leather dress shoes. Why it's called a wingtip? It's because of this. Shaped like a wing. So these are all these are called wingtips. And that's it for dress shoes. At the moment they only have one pair of chucker boots. And that's them right here. This black pair here. A lot of people think they're Clarks, but they're not. They're like, I think, they're called Bruno Mark. I got these online. I tell you, you don't need to, like I say, you don't need to run down the name brands now. <laughs> you have other things that are durable and look just as good. But like a fraction of the cost of the brand name that you're chasing. So these are alright, I think. 
Okay, now we're down to the last category, and these are the shoes I wear when I go out mostly. So these are my party slash casual shoes. So first up, one that I haven't worn in a while, that I was actually surprised to find. I didn't remember that I still had it. And are these. And are these pair of driving moccasins. Believe it or not, I got these at Payless. Payless is actually the only place in Jamaica where they cater for people with big feet. So shout out to Payless. Another pair that I got at Payless were these plain black driving moccasins. Hmm. I've worn these in a while either, but Payless again, shout out. These are another pair that I haven't worn in a while as well. It's been a while actually. Yeah, these are... Yeah, these are driving moccasins as well. Didn't realize I had that many, if you call it a lot. Now these are actual hybrid. These are actual hybrids. It's a cross between sneakers and dress shoes. So you can see it's their wingtips and they got the sneakers and they got the sneaker sole down here. I wear these a lot. Except we have some tassel loafers. Although they're technically not loafers because they don't have a heel. But like I said, the term loafers is used very loosely these days. So you can call these loafers actually. Although they have sneaker soles. And these are what they call tassels by the way. So that's why I call them tassel loafers. Here we have another pair of driving moccasins. I haven't worn these, haven't worn these in a while either. You can see the wear and tear on it. But I like them. Next up, we have my pair of driving moccasin with the horseshoe bit on it. Yeah, I wear these often too. I like them. And then I have my red slippers. Yeah, I know it's funny to call them slippers, but that's what they actually call them. These are by Journey West, by the way. And then I have the blue, navy blue pair of slippers as well. By the same Journey West. Then there's a black and gold one. I haven't worn these in a while either, but I've taken a few pictures in them. And last but not least, to close the show, I got my leopard printed slippers. I've worn this like thing twice so far. Yeah, these are pretty nice too. I like them. Now back to you in studio, Corey. Well, there you have it. Which one was your favorite? And which one was your least favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And remember to hit the like button if you like the video. And if for some reason you haven't already, remember to hit the subscribe button below as well as the bell icon so you can get notified whenever I drop a new video. And remember to follow me on Instagram at effortless underscore fashion. And of course, that's fashion spelled with two N's. So till next time, guys, stay stylish. <laughs>